Hi guys, a very good evening to all of you. It's me, Jeff Ignacio, the owner of this channel, Sukhati Plangan. Thank you so much, guys, for the subscribe. And for those who have yet to subscribe, what are you guys waiting for? All right, um, I'm actually quite packed today again. That's why I wasn't able to do any reaction earlier on. <sighs> but I still will try to steal time. I am going to react to this Indonesian singer. Her name is Bunga Chitra Lestari. I know a um, few months ago, her late husband, which is uh, Ashraf Sinclair, passed away. Uh, it was devastating for her and also to, to, to all of us because we knew him back then. And I think he moved to Indonesia with the wife as well and then pursue his career there. and. The Indonesians loved him so much, yeah, and his loss is such a huge, uh, his passing is such a huge loss to the industry in Malaysia and also in Indonesia. So yeah, I am going to react to Bunga Chitra Lestari. She performed during the Putri Indonesia 2020 with a song titled Cinta Sejati. So I'll try to hold on to my emotion because as I'm talking right now, it's starting to build up because yeah it wasn't easy knowing somebody not personally but you know that person already passed away and left his wife and children i think they have one, one and only son probably yeah so i'm going to react to him sorry i'm going to react to bunga chitra listari in three two go oh a lot of people guys Cinta sejati. Love you. Mm, beautiful voice, yeah. Oh, his, her voice is beautiful. Oh, I got goosebumps, guys. Her voice projection, her feelings towards the song, I think it became even stronger. Oh, man, this is such a heartbreaking sound, song. I don't even want to look at this Putri Indonesia, you know, because I just want to focus on her singing. Guys, please let me know, because this one was recorded two months ago. Uh, let me check um, Ashraf Sinclair, the day that he passed away. Uh... 18 February 2020 so basically she sing this song after his passing please correct me if I'm wrong because now my emotion is starting to oh. The lyrics, guys, the melody, and her singing is wow. Oh. I have to stop here. I do not want to watch this Putri Indonesia actually because I just want to focus on her voice and her performances. I thought it's solely her performance actually. Then when I watch this, um, I feel it's not... This is my own opinion, okay? Don't bash me because uh, everyone is entitled to it. It's just my opinion. I feel like this song is not suitable in this thing. 
you know like everyone is parading and then the song is really sad like it's totally too di- different atmosphere and the ladies are smiling <laughs> i really like cannot relate so that's just my opinion okay but i will focus on uh, bunga chitra lestari's voice because her voice is beautiful it's soulful it's strong the head that chase the chest chase pula the chest the resonance the dynamic is like And her pronunciation, it's so clear. That's the thing about Indonesian singer, you know. Oh. Oh. This song has very beautiful melody, the arrangement. Oh, the lyrics is so beautiful, you know. Really beautiful. Cinta kita melukiskan sejarah, menggelarkan cerita penuh sukacita, sehingga siapapun insan Tuhan pasti tahu cinta kita sejati. Woo! Oh, it hits right to my heart. Saat aku tak lagi di sisimu Ku tunggu kau di keabadian guys Oh my goodness Yes you guys create history You guys did Create history together Oh She is so pretty, skinny, and very strong vocally. Guys, that was Bunga Chitra Lestari with Jinta Sejati during the uh, Putri Indonesia 2020. Um, this video was uploaded by surya chitra Televisi or sctv on 6th of march 2020 and ashraf sinclair passed away on 18 february 2020 imagine it's less than a, a month from her from his passing and for her to actually stand there sing this song which can really relate to her life and her uh, husband is really commendable I can't believe she just stand there and you know like sing I think he tried to he, she tried to suppress her emotion to sing for this event and I am not sure why of all songs this song was chosen to sing for this Putri Indonesia to parade that's my personal opinion only okay mm, probably it suits the atmosphere the swasana it suits the the ladies walking with dark 
gowns and whatnot, so I do not know. But put that aside, all I want to say is I think I'm an, I am a new Bunga Citra Lestari fan. Uh, I've heard of her name many, many years ago, but I never really hear her sing until recently. And until today, I really focus on her singing. She has a very beautiful voice, very soulful. Um, maybe because she, she put her experience into that song, makes the song even more meaningful, more emotional, more soulful. But her vocal was perfect, flawless. Her head voice, her chest voice, her um, dynamics, her... Um, you know, everything about vocal thingy, she was really good and you didn't expect that it came from her. She has the look, she is super pretty and yeah. It's it's sad that of course um we have to it's sad that she has to go through this at at this age. But well life is so unpredictable. Um we do not know what is going to happen in a few seconds, a few hours days months year so while we still able whilst we still remember always remember one thing appreciate those people who is around us uh, love them unconditionally go uh, strive go and achieve your goals work for it because you will never know when is the time that you will expire so at least by the time comes when you are sick, when you are not well anymore, when you can't do like what you can do right now, at least you will live the moment where you actually already, um, you know, already achieve what you want to achieve. Like I like the quote from Mark Twain. It says that twenty years from now you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. Yeah because most a lot of us right um, most of the time we'll say Alama, I didn't do this la last time you know I should have done this you know if you think about it and you have the chance to do it or you're still able to do it go and do it don't wait any longer like me I have a lot of regrets in life but I always look at the positive side like probably the time wasn't right that time now I'm doing it um, like for me like everything has perfect timing okay there is never too late never too early but this is the thing if you already think about it meaning it's something that's already God already triggers you to do to, to do it so yeah just go and do it so yeah I've, I've learned a lot of things I will go and achieve all right so guys thank you so much for watching it's really um, meaningful for me for you guys to subscribe to click like comment hit the notification bell yeah thank you so much see you